we're the Touchstones from Cornell University. And, and you're our Inside Acapella. Hey, it's Rachel C. with Inside Acapella. Let's start off by checking in with Florian Stetler of the vocal blog. Thanks, Florian. Looking forward to hearing more from you in later episodes. And also check out the vocal blog for more up-to-date news. Project Philly held its 8th annual benefit concert on August 9th. Four groups composed of collegiate and adult singers raised nearly $2,000 for a performing arts scholarship to Philadelphia's Walnut Street Theater. And nearly 900 pounds of food for the local food bank, Phil Abundance. What a great way to bring acapella into your community. September 21st is coming up quick. Have you registered for TVC's first ever acapella ed program? It's at the University of Richmond and all performances, workshops, and masterclasses are entirely free. That's right, everyone gets everything. Inside Acapella will be attending the event, so make sure you register soon at acapellaed.com and don't forget to stop by and say hi. We've had a few viewer questions on arranging. Inside Acapella turned to Honey Whiskey Trio's Christina Wilson for some answers. Uh, uh, oh. Hi Inside Acapella, this is Christina Wilson from Honey Whiskey Trio, here to answer some of your questions about arranging. First question is, what software do you recommend when arranging? I would recommend the software that works best for you and what you need to get out of your arrangements. I am really, really used to using Finale. I've been brought up on it. I've used Sibelius a couple of times. They both have really great features for different types of musicians and arrangers. How often do I use music theory when arranging? I use it all the time. It helps me know what notes I can use in a chord. It helps me know what notes I can use as extensions of those chords to create a thicker texture. It lets me know if I want to use metric modulation, if I want to go from different time signatures to different time signatures. It also helps me when choosing a key center and then modulation, if I want the song to go up, if I want the song to go down as a whole. Um, music theory is really, really helpful in arranging. How do you make arrangements different and special? How do you make them yours? How do you find out who you are in this arranger? Start trying different things, you know? Try putting a ballad at breakneck speed. Try taking a song that is a Latin song and putting it in a funk time signature. Um, really try and push all the boundaries with making songs different so people are hearing songs that they know and love for the first time in this different way. All these different techniques with time signatures and music theory and chords, all of this great stuff will really turn your arrangements into something special. Thanks, Christina. To close out this week's show, we have a new featured video for you. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow us on all of our social media for more acapella updates. I'm Rachel C., and I'll see you next week on Inside Acapella.